Today we will solve the problem 3.7 of Griffith 4th edition introduction to electrodynamics. Problem uh, 3.7 is find the force on the charge Q in figure uh, 3.14. This is the figure 3.14. Uh, the XY plane is grounded conductor. This conductor is grounded. That is the potential is zero for this. So now we have to solve this problem. So force due to the charges Q1 and Q2 is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 divided by R squared R cat. Now we can solve this problem very easily using the image charges. See, I am redrawing this diagram. That is, uh, we have kept a charge minus 2Q at a distance t from the center. Similarly, uh, we are placing a charge plus Q plus Q at the distance 3D from the conductor. So this is the uh, grounded conductor. This potential must be zero. That means uh, we have to keep one charge here image at the distance T. Uh, the charge is plus 2Q. Uh, so that uh, since it's a symmetry equal distance, the, the charge created by the potential created by this uh, minus 2Q is exactly cancelled by this plus 2Q. So naturally the uh, grounded conductor potential is zero and we have to compensate this. So for that you keep the uh, charge uh, their charge is uh, plus Q. So you keep the charge minus Q at a distance 3T in the negative axis. So th this uh, potential due to this charge is exactly cancelled by the potential due to this charge. Now we have to find the force on uh, the charge Q. So use this formula. Here you can take uh, this charge is Q, so you can take Q outside as a common, divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. Uh, then the force uh, due to the charge minus 2Q on this. So now I will use different color. So this distance, distance between charge 2Q minus 2Q, 2Q is 2D. So this will become uh, the charge is minus Q. Q. See Q1 uh, I have taken common as Q because this is fixed Q. Uh, then uh, Q2 here it is minus 2Q divided by R squared. Here distance is 2D. So naturally this will be 2D squared. Uh, then uh, what is the charge uh, Q2? Uh, this uh, charge plus 2. Here to here, this uh, distance is 4D. Because from the origin, it is 3D. Here, another D. So, you will get 4D distance. So, uh, this uh, charge is uh, 2Q. So, plus 2Q. So, I have written Q, Q divided by Four d squared because distance is four uh, d squared. Four uh, d so is four d squared. Then uh, the charge uh, force due to this charge minus q uh, the distance from here to q uh, is uh, here one three d here one three d. So uh, this distance is uh, six d. Uh, so the uh, force uh, on Q due to minus Q is minus Q divided by R squared. Here R is 60, 60 squared. So we can uh, square it to 4D squared. This, this is 60D squared. Uh, this is uh, 36D squared. We will simplify it further. Now uh, we have seen uh, F is equal to Q 
divided by 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by minus 2q 4d squared plus uh, 2q uh, over 16d squared plus minus q uh, over 36d squared. Uh, now uh, you can simplify this. This and this uh, 2 will cancel with this 4. This will become 2. Similarly here 2 will cancel with 16 which will become 8. And I am going to take this Q outside as a common because uh, minus Q plus Q minus Q. So I am going to take Q as common from the numerator. So this will become Q squared. Similarly, I am going to take T squared in the denominator outside because it's common T squared, T squared, T squared. So this will become uh, minus 1 by 2. This is plus uh, 1 by 8. Here minus 1 over 36. Now if you take LCM this will be 72. So this is minus 36 and this is plus 9. This is uh, minus 2. So uh, you will get to minus 29 numerator and the numerator. If you add uh, sum all the three you will get minus 29. I have taken minus outside. Uh, so it's indicate after all is a repulsive force. So the numerator will become 29 and the denominator is 72. This is the force on the charge Q uh, due to uh, the charge uh, or minus, uh, sorry, charge minus 2Q uh, kept at a distance to the, so total charge on the uh, Total force on the charge Q is uh, this one minus Q squared over 4 pi epsilon naught T squared multiplied by 29 over 72. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously. Thank you very much.